Jarvin, um, could you just speak to the, the start Jamal Murray got off to them and how that kind of put you guys behind the eight ball for the rest of the game? And then he got off scorching. I felt like we were uh, doing a pretty decent job on everyone else. You know, he's one of those players, man. He gets to see it. Once he starts to see them go in, it's just he catches fire. and he, he's, he rolls them off pretty quickly, which he did uh, in that first half. Basically carried them offensively through that half. Um, but, you know, we did a little better job third quarter, I felt like. Uh, but, you know, it's a tough ball club. You know, shout out to them. They're, 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 again, they've been at the top of the food chain for a reason and have a plethora of guys that can hurt you. Um, as it's on full display tonight. Um, but, you know, circumstances are what they are. Difficult, but not impossible. We just need to come out, you know, start the recovery process now and get ready to get a game on Monday. Darvin, you guys have spent basically the 80 plus games trying to come back like that's been the story of this team all season um are you seeing enough energy from this group to, to to still do it are you seeing the receipts maybe a little bit from the push your team has put had to put into all of this to get to this point yeah i mean it's it's it's, it's difficult because a lot of it you know against the really really good teams um and we have you know I, we're a really really good team and we, I've, I've seen our, how our defense, you know, has put people in awkward positions um, and caused them to self-destruct at times, whether it was finishing up the regular season or in these playoffs. And, you know, the defense is, once you get to this point, you know, what's conference finals, finals, the defense gets dialed up that much more. And so you can't have self-inflicted wounds. Um, whether it's turnovers, whether it's giving up offensive rebounds, uh, silly fouls to help them get to the bonus quicker. I mean, I just think those things, you got to be extremely, extremely disciplined. And then, you know, you got to have some things fall your way as well. We had a bunch of shots that rimmed out, um, which is unfortunate. But again, nobody's going to feel sorry for you. You just got to pick yourself back up. Again, fill our cups back up and try to come out and get one on Monday. Darvin, at times it did feel like the team did take advantage of some of those non-joker minutes between Austin and AD. Was it just because of that first quarter slump and that Jamal Murray, of course, first half that kind of made it hard to come back from? Yeah, I mean, he got going. I thought we, we were able to come back and take a lead. Um, it, it's They had some, man, give them credit, man. They had some guys step up and make some big shots. You know, Bruce Brown, Jeff. Michael Porter Jr., like, they had, they had some guys that stepped up and played well. And, you know, in, in the absence of Joker. And then once, you know, once he came back, he just did what he does. And so, um, I mean, our biggest thing is, again, us continuously applying pressure, um, playing downhill, playing in the paint, making a simple play. And sometimes it, it worked out sometimes. And other times, you know, we had some unfortunate circumstances in terms of turnovers or point blank miss or give them a second chance opportunity like we just got to be more solid Darvin uh pregame asked you about D'Lo he won one for eight today one for six on threes what, what did you make of his performance or just kind of the struggles he's all good right looks now? all good looks he just has to remain aggressive all good looks uh Darvin, what worked defensively in the second half against Jamal Murray um, that, that might not have been working in the first half when he was going? I mean, we just decided to put a body on him and keep a body on him. Um, he's getting loose. We had some miscommunication plays where, you know, one person may have thought we were redding, another person thought we were staying home um, without me, you know, looking at the game yet. Uh, just felt like he, he took advantage of some of our defensive breakdowns and, you know, he scores in a variety of ways. It's not like a guy that's going to run 50,000 pick and rolls and, and so you can switch up that coverage, coverage and be okay, kind of slow him down. It's pick and roll, it's off ball, it's back doors, it's everything. And so uh, finding them in transition. Uh, but us, you know, the adjustment was both Dennis and Vando, I thought, you know, tried their best to slow him down and disrupt him a little bit in the second half. Um, 
I thought we were able to do that, you know, 30 in the first half, seven in the second half. So, but again, you know, just, just trying to mix up the pitches, but keep a body on them. And again, you know, Dennis and Vando, they tried, but he's a hell of a player. And, and, you know, once he gets rolling, it's, it doesn't matter who's in front of him. Darvin, you guys take uh, to your left, uh, you guys take the lead in the fourth quarter. And I don't want to be disrespectful. They hit the two good threes, but they went on an 11 nothing run. Was that defense? Was that turnovers? What did you see in that short little window? I mean, I thought it was a little bit of everything. I mean, without, again, I have to go back and look at the tape to be 100% sure. But um, thought a couple turnovers, offensive rebounds by them, a couple missed shots by us, point blank, a um, couple open misses from three. Man, it just, it's, it's just snowball, snowball effect. Tobin, I'd ask you about the play of role players. How do you think Rui, Austin, Jared, Diaz, and De- D'Angelo, how do you think they equated themselves out there tonight? I thought they did the, the best they could, all of them. Um, they competed. And I, I, you know, I'm, I'm disappointed, but I'm not uh, upset, you know what I mean, in terms of, yeah, it sucks to lose, but those guys fought. They fought their hearts out. They tried to do what they tried to execute what we gave them. And um, for some of them, shots went down. For some of them, some some didn't. Um, and that's just the way it goes, man. Like like it's their fight. Nobody was out there just going through the motions. Everyone I felt like worked. Everyone was competing and trying to get stuff done when they were when they were on the floor. Yeah, Darvin, just to, with Denver's shot making, I think they've hit at least 14 threes in the three, in the three games tonight. Even when Jokic was sitting, they got the five threes at the end of that, that stretch. What do you look at scheme-wise versus just size or, or what they're doing? And, and is there anything that can be adjusted going into game four? Yeah, we'll go back and look at the tape and then uh, see where we go from there. Just everyone, as long as we remain competitive and ready to give multiple efforts, just in a general sense. I think we give our we give ourselves a chance to be successful, but in terms of the particulars and the coverages and adjustments, you know, we'll go back and look at the tape, and then that'll reveal to us what we need to do. Hey, Darvin, I remember you recently wrote zero point three on a whiteboard, signifying the chances that you know you were given to make the playoffs after a two and ten start. Um, obviously, the chances of recovering from a three to nothing hole are even tougher. Um, is there still that hope, though, considering everything that you guys have overcome already this season? Absolutely. I mean, there's, there's, there, it, I think the deficit is 3-0, not 4. So as long as they haven't gotten to 4 yet, there's still hope. We're still alive. We just have to focus on winning one game. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.